swear this gets worse every time I do it. So the fun part about video editing, not just video editing, music editing in general, I literally just totally forgot that I was in the process of making coffee. Here is the little fucking Keurig thing. You know what I totally didn't do? Add fucking coffee. Oh. oh yeah, that's the magic right there. My band, like America, runs on Duncan. What does it say? Live to begin. Oh, here it goes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is there? Am I missing something? Oh, thank God. Magic black bean juice. Oh, the bags are real on my eyes right now. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so tired. I don't know why. I have a headache. I feel like shit. It's great. Another day in the deep six mentality. Woo! That moment when you're so bored that you would literally talk to your own phone thinking that it actually is another that person. Works, but that says life tastes better with coffee. You're goddamn right. So normally, typically in the Navy, if there's no creamer available, which is a very fucking normal thing, I don't normally drink anything with my coffee aside from just a little bit of sugar and then black. Hazelnut is black. I just realized this isn't much of a fucking vlog update, whatever the fuck. I don't know. We're on the verge. We're on the cusp of something beautiful, something epic, something sinister all at the same time. And I really can't hide my anticipation or, uh, yeah, anticipation to share it with you all because guess what? I am that bad at keeping secrets. So you should either feel thankful or not watch my video at all. Either way, it feels good. Moving forward. Let's get to some music. Pretty sure this is working. Hopefully. Um. And this is how I spend the majority of my time programming drums. Not that this is a video about that, but don't worry about it. Because it's my program and this is how I do my bullshit. I have to sit here and watch this. Watch this, ready? Okay, so here we have the kick drums. So I need to go through, highlight all these little individual things, delete them. Then I need to make sure that the velocity on all of these are at, uh, let's say full. Let's go, obviously that little bar, you can slide it to whatever. And it'll increase the intensity of the hit with the higher the velocity. I like having it at a high velocity kick because guess what that means? It's going to be a harder hit every time. And normally when you're done, I do a lot of copying and pasting of one take and then I just move it all over. All right, that's all good. I get rid of all this extra bullshit right here, leaving only the symbols, which are these higher up ones. You can obviously see the little symbol icons in the corner here. I'm using the GarageBand system, whatever the hell that was, on the most recent, not the most recent iPad, like the 2015, 2014 iPad. This thing's been around. It's, it's an old ass iPad and it's still serving me pretty well. Anyway, and most of the time you get a good sound, kind of like this. Not bad. We can probably fit a chorus in there. What the fuck am I doing? shred right now but it's not that kind of song. Ready? This is how I do bass beats. Perfect. As well, here's how I really do bass beats. Now it's time for my favorite part. Right, let's rock this shit. Here we go.
Could work. Let's see. So normally whenever I record, I like to go at least one measure past in case I messed up on one of them or two of them. I have that third one, which I felt like I was, hey, that was a pretty good solid take. I can go and review which ones I like. I'm not stingy when it comes to uh, looking back on how many takes I did for a single verse. And if I find one that I figured was perfection, if I'm going to be repeating it over and over, I'll take that, I'll co uh, copy and paste that one particular segment that I enjoyed, that I nailed, really nailed. Out of all three or four, depending on what time sake or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, fun shit. So I'm going to twist it a little bit. I'm still working on this course. So now we're doing the right panned ears, which is this side, through the little speaker, which is harmonies, by the way. So I'm going to be doing a triple harmonic here. So actually, there's on top of the lead guitar, which is center panned, your left, your left ear is going to have your, uh, your root note, your, your, your primary harmonic. Secondary is going to be the higher note, which is going to be the right guitar, and then left guitar, no, I'm sorry, bass is going to have the bass notes, obviously, of that, harm, of that harmony. Let's see just how badly I botched this. Ready? <sighs> uh. Makes me want to put this thing down and never touch it again. Let's do it again. Second one sound a little cleaner. Yeah, the second one sounds a little cleaner. So let me split that, get rid of you, copy you. Okay, so here's where things get fun. So basically, I have these two takes right here, right? So this is the little drum fill area right here at measure 44. I'm gonna press the play button, you're gonna hear that. There we go. That's only two parts. This is actually a four part chorus. Now the miracle of Garage Band is this. I just highlighted all four of those. Means I can copy these, select measure 53 at the top, sorry, I'm dro drooping in my hand. Then press paste, and bam, I have eight, oh, I'm sorry, not eight, four of those little takes right there. It's the same riff over and over for four times. Okay, so how we write this lead guitar is gonna actually be pretty entertaining. So I'm thinking we're gonna do a, sorry. sounds very pop punk sort of uplifting but if you think about it with this kind of a chord progression it actually has a, a minor element to it as weird as that sounds it's, it's actually a major this is a major key compared to your average which a lot of my stuff is actually written in so you get the idea. It's all bullshit. Look, the point is, is that you're not even gonna pay attention to half this. Lead. None of you even know what it means. So look, moving forward, we're gonna write this lead. Write this. Okay, right here.
Never forget to tune your bass. Beautiful music. It's hot. I don't know why. It's hot. It's kind of weird too, considering the fact that it's March 27th, probably 26th when 20. Yeah, I'll be the 27th when you guys see this. I'll be uploading it on my birthday, cause I've sent all the birthday presents in the past. <laughs> now we fact check it. Now let's hear it with the guitars. And here we are embracing the suck. The greatest transitions of all time are the ones that generally don't make any sense. Like this one. Time to do the rhythm. The song seems about 110% complete, which is good. I'm just kidding. The song is nowhere near done, but I'm going to lie to your face and say it's done. Um, I hope that you guys actually enjoyed this little studio update. It's kind of ridiculous. I have absolutely no direction when it comes to making videos. I'm a fucking clown when it comes to it. So uh, for the most part, yeah, um, there's going to be a big announcement coming hopefully soon. I hope that you guys stay tuned. You guys are really going to enjoy it, and uh, I can't wait to share all this stuff with you. Uh, this is, this is again, this is a little teaser of the writing process. And really, there's, there's a bunch of members who aren't here currently because they're either on duty or otherwise taking care of some things that they need to. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Really hope that you guys can share the band and share the music. That's really all it's about is just getting it out there and, and uh, having something that somebody else can fall back on, having something to enjoy. I'm not asking for profit, I'm not trying to make money off of this, it's just a thing I like to do and I hope that people enjoy it too. That's pretty much all it is for. Alright guys.